Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this video I'm going to show you how you can blend your text and video together using the gradient wipe effect for a faded text animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like on it below, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet, and go follow me on social media at Justin Odisho. So I've got some stock footage of some waves crashing and flowing on my timeline and now we're going to grab our text tool in the new versions of Adobe Premiere Pro and we can start creating our text titles right on top. So I can type out whatever text I want and I can use the essential graphics panel which is in the window menu if you can't see it and center it, change the text, style, font, color and all that. Now with the new text media on our new layer we can extend it out however long we want to be and we can actually start applying effects onto this text as well. So I'm going to open up the effects panel and search for one called gradient wipe. Now there's actually two gradient wipes. One of them you'll find in the video effects transition folder and one of them is a video transition. You want to use this one in the video effects folder and you can tell because they have a different symbol next to them. So make sure you're grabbing the one in the video effects folder and click and place it on your text effect clip. Now you can go to the effects control panel and you should see it pop up for us to begin adjusting parameters. So if you've seen my Luma Fade tutorial, this is an effect I've used on video clips to blend two video clips together. But a cool thing is when you put it on text, you can blend the text onto a certain layer of your video. So right now, the gradient layer is set to video 2. So when we make the transition go from 0 to 100, nothing really happens. But if we change that gradient layer to be video track 1 or wherever your video that you want to use is placed on, now it's going to take a look at the brightness and darkness of that layer and it's going to adjust the fade based on that. So if I increase the transition completeness now, you can see it kind of sticks around on the bright portions of the waves and gets erased on the others. And you can also invert that so I can invert the gradient and what happens is I get an interesting effect where I blended it kind of like the blend if feature in Photoshop where it, it sticks onto the texture of the original video and depending on what the clip is of it can make the text appear as if it's floating underneath the surface of the waves it creates some cool visual tricks and you can also increase the softness so for example this is pretty harsh I can increase that softness to feather and blend those edges a bit more get a more smooth result so something around 40 percent it looks a lot more blended in and the cool part is if you want to turn this into a transition or animate this like I did in the initial intro, you can use keyframes for both of these effects. So if you click the stopwatch icon, I can transition from 0 to 100% blend and you'll see that things will slowly start to fade in based on the texture of the video clip underneath. So it's a little bit more visually interesting than your typical fade in because it plays and interacts with the video clip underneath in an interesting way and you can see that it's different. And if you don't want to animate it, you don't have to. You can just use this to blend text in an interesting type of way and build on top of that in other ways. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Check out my other tutorial using Gradient Wipe to create transitions between two videos and subscribe to the channel if you're not to stay tuned for all of my daily creative videos. Go follow me on social media at Justin Odisho to reach out to me. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.